All right, let's get to our wildfire coverage this morning. There are several major ones burning right now that we need to share with you. Yeah, that's right, Walt. Let's start with the Caldor fire in El Dorado County. Right now, that fire is still south of Highway 50. And the Caldor fire is not growing as quickly as it was earlier this week. It's now burning more than 68,000 acres. That's up just about 4,000 acres from yesterday morning. This fire, Bria, though, still has no containment. It's already destroyed at least 104 structures. But as Rob mentioned earlier, it's not just the flames doing damage in this fire. The smoke has been unhealthy across our region for days, and it's keeping people from enjoying time outdoors. ABC 10's Zach Fuentes joins us now live from Pollock Pines, the Sly Park area, to tell us how this has impacted tourism in the Sierra for this coming weekend. Zach? Yeah, well, well, right now, this would typically be a busy time for tourism in this area, but instead of seeing tourists coming here to visit, we see fire crews from around the state working hard to fight the Caldor fire. And we got to speak with SAC Fire, who's up here as part of that firefight. They're asking anyone right now to not travel through this area this weekend. And look, even if you don't listen to that, there's not going to be much you'll be able to do when you come up here. The El Dorado County Winery Association says that many wineries in the area are in the evacuation zones and have closed to help keep traffic off the road so that the roads will be freed up for fire crews. Also, the El Dorado National Forest is closed to campers. The El Dorado County Chamber of Commerce agrees that visitors should stay out of this area, but they say it's still going to be an added hit to the local economy here. All those campers kind of doing their last camping of the um, before school starts and all that were evacuated and it doesn't look like the uh, National Forest is going to open at least until September 30th. So yeah, that's going to have a huge impact. Yeah, and it's not just the El Dorado National Forest that's going to be impacted. If you take a look at your screen, starting Sunday, the U.S. Forest Service says nine Northern California National Forests are going to be closed because of wildfires. Those closures are going to last for two weeks. So that's nearly half of the national forests that we have here in this state. Like I've been saying, the nearest, the most immediate impact and tragedy are the homes and structures that have already been lost. But the long-term impacts are going to be what happens to the local economies here because this area really does rely on those tourism dollars. Yeah, uh, good point, Zach, for this weekend. And then obviously you have Labor Day weekend coming up and it's going to be pretty quiet up there until they get a full handle on this, which may be a while. Zach, thank you. Earlier this week, the town of Grizzly Flats was leveled by the Caldor fires flames. And this morning we're learning, uh, hearing more about a family whose home was destroyed as they drove away to take shelter from the Caldor fire. The Williams family was watching this. Their neighbor's home burn on security camera footage it would be the same fate for their own home. I, I don't know that it's fully kicked in for me just yet. I mean, I know it's hard on the kids. So even though it was devastating to lose almost everything to a wildfire, Brenna Williams says the fact that his family is okay is really all that matters to him. And there's more in Firewatch this morning as we continue our coverage of the massive Dixie Fire. It's the second largest wildfire in California's history, and right now it's also the largest fire that's burning in the state. As the Dixie Fire continues to grow, it's now spread into a fifth county. That's the southeast edge of Shasta, and it's also still burning in Butte, Plumas, Lassen, and Tehama counties. It's taken out a large part of Lassen Volcanic National Park as well. And this morning, a fire captain and three firefighters are hurt after a tree fell over just north of Chester. The captain is in the hospital with several broken bones. The Dixie Fire is closing in on 700,000 acres, and it's still only 35 percent contained. This fire has already destroyed more than 1,000 structures, and right now 1,600 others are threatened. And we do want to check back in on the town of Greenville. The Dixie Fire completely destroyed it a couple of weeks ago. So many in this town lost everything. Houses, businesses all burned to the ground. But despite the smoke and ashes, Greenville residents are staying hopeful. We've lost everything, but then we've, we've found so many good people that I never realized there were that many good people out there. Greenville will rise again. We're a strong community and we'll, we'll rise above this. I admire their optimism. There's a new assistance center open in Quincy, and it's offering help to those that the Dixie Fire has impacted. All right, let's talk about another wildfire that is very close to our area right now. This is the Cache Fire. It's burned at least 50 homes. This happened yesterday in Lake County. The fire moved very quickly through what were mostly mobile homes in the city of Clear Lake. It has burned 75 acres. Right now, containment is 40%. 
If you do have questions about these wildfires, we have a team standing by to get you answers. Text the number on your screen, 916-321-3310. You can also get quick information on the Caldor and Dixie fires by texting the word CLOSINGS.